Ian Geiser. I am the CTO here at Devon IT. I'm going to take a short introduction here of our next release of DTOS, DTOS 7.1, which is due out in December. The most noticeable improvement at the beginning of the session is the boot speed. One of the design goals of DTOS 7.1 was on our slowest device, the FX130, to boot as short as 30 seconds from boot time into session start. The second most noticeable feature will be the first boot agent. On first boot, we will offer an out-of-box experience to allow you to do the initial configuration of your thin client on the network. Things like setting up the screen, setting up the sound and audio, dual screens, as well as the management server. If there is a management server present, you can also use that to populate those settings and go right through into the, your um, initial session. The big things from the client side are the client upgrades. We are introducing the Citrix version 12 client. This client will have Adobe Flash redirection as well as better support for webcams, VoIP, and multimedia redirection. With our enhanced so hardware support for the FX130 as well as the FX170, we will be able to leverage video acceleration as well as crypto acceleration to make the performance of the sessions better over your virtualized experience. The other things that we've added is wireless networking. This has been a long asked for feature, so if you have wi a wireless model of a thin client as well as a USB wireless model on our supported devices, you will be able to connect to your enterprise wireless network using EAP, LEAP, or any of the WPA enterprise profiles. We also are going to be adding over a concept of overlays to the product. One of the biggest problems with a thin client is how do you customize it for your infrastructure and your needs. We've introduced the concept of overlays so that you can do things like add custom software, uh, branding, or even um, information of your infrastructure such as certificates um, or other applications. These can be done in an overlay without having to modify the base operating system, thus allowing you to still stay under support. The other product related to De DTOS is our VDI Blaster. VDI Blaster shares most of the same features of DTOS 7.1. Um, the extra features that, are, that were originally not in VDI Blaster that are in the new VDI Blaster are dual monitor support. This will allow workstations with multiple, multiple monitors to be repurposed and used with VDI Blaster. We will also be carrying over the Wi-Fi support that comes from the stock DTOS, and we will have persistence on the full hard drive install that will allow you to save settings similar and use overlays similar to DTOS. The biggest feature for VDI Blaster is going to be the single installer. This is an MSI-based installer that can be shipped out via Active Directory for XP co-installs or repurposing the machine with a hard drive install. Also, this installer gives you the ability to make USB keys as well as CD-ROM ISOs from the same installer, thus giving you a single downloadable that you have to manage versus the current multiple downloads. I'm going to go through a quick tour here of our newest DTOS. As you can see, it is very similar to our original um, 7.0 series of DTOS. We did not have any substantial usability changes um, so that training is still the same. We did add a couple extra features in the user interface, such as VPN, wireless, and we've added enhanced local storage support so that we can have Multi, uh, the ability to s go through snapshots or uh, full persistence mode. This will be also available on VDI Blaster, allowing systems administrators to manage those just the same. We've also added the no machine profile so that you can add um, you can add no machine um, sessions to your DTOS, as well as the existing Kaviza or Citrix. Um, that is about it for our demonstration here. Stay tuned for our next demonstration on the Echo 4 platform.